Good morning YouTube, how are ya? It's a Thursday. This is September 14th today? Something like that, I don't know. Anyway, just uh, popping in quick. Got some uh, longish hair for me here, so I'm going to get it cut this morning. Then I'm going to work on a little project that I think I'm going to share. So I'll uh, be back in a little bit and we'll get on with that. See ya. Hey, welcome back. Well, a little shorter. Eh, maybe the same. A little neater. Just needing it up a bit. So I'm going to walk over here to the house and show you what I plan on doing today for this quick little project. So let's go over here. I'll have to shut this down and flip it. Okay, here we go. This is an issue. We used to have a screen door on the storm and screen. Storm door, screen door. Well, one really blustery day in the, okay, it's not the, not the 100 acre wood, which would be nice, but it's not. Um, the door got ripped off. So, I've been lazy. Oh wait, no, I've been busy. No, yeah, I've been lazy. <laughs> and I haven't put it back up there. The only thing that's left is this jam here. Um, and that brick mold. But I'm going to replace those because obviously up here we have an issue where all the brick mold came off. So I'll probably uh, use a little more foam up there. Spray foam it up a bit. Here is the other jam. The last little bit from the top that fell off the other day so that's gonna go right there and I'm gonna put a new door on here and then I think I want to paint the doors I need to paint the house again I painted this gray on here with my buddy Jason and it's been some years now it's looking okay but obviously the trim there is starting to fade starting to flake you know, it's going bad it, it this was that brown paintable stain type stuff before really dark and uh, it doesn't take paint well I mean obviously so I have some issues with it so I'm gonna run I'm gonna run up to the hardware the depot probably garage there and uh, get a new door and some brick mold and then we'll hope hopefully I can figure out how to film all this little project here and uh, get a new screen slash storm storm and screen screen door whatever on there and uh, we can at least open the door for the cooler weather get a little more breeze in and then I'm gonna figure out Maybe a paint color and whatnot. See what we want to do with that. All right, off to the hardware. Okay, back, back from the depot. Got the door. Almost made a rookie mistake. Didn't measure the <laughs> storm door for size, the width. But luckily I remembered that it was a 32 inch door, so I got the right one. I put this storm door over here in probably 19 years ago now, 18 years ago probably. We've been here 19 years, so it's probably 18 years ago. Um, so it held up decent. That brick mold that went bad was from that door, came with that door. So luckily I remembered it was 32. But second issue is my buddy borrowed my saw horses. So now I gotta run down the street and get them back. Hopefully I can get in the house, get in the garage, get in the back shed. Ah, I'll have to go get them. So we're going to do another time warp and we'll be back again. What I'm going to do is take the rest of that brick mold off of the, off of the side and I'm going to uh, use some great stuff foam to foam everything first and let it start setting up so I can cut it and get it nice and flush. Then I'll take the door, open it up. Well, uh, no, then I'm going to build the brick mold, I guess. Uh, I'm going to lay everything out on a table and go over what I got exactly, just for kicks and giggles so you can see it all. And then uh, 
while that brick mold is, or while the great stuff is setting up, I'll dig everything out of the shed that I need. So I went down the street to my buddies and got my saw horses, so I'm good to go. So I'll be right back. Okay, back. I'm going to take this stuff out. Wonder box. So far away from the camera. Hopefully it'll be good. I'll try not to talk too much in this work. But you like to do better anyway. Next thing we got is the great stuff. The great stuff. Oop, the great stuff. It is great stuff. Got my receipt here because I wanted to uh, show you something interesting. I bought this oh, pre-mitered, pre-packaged brick mold kit. Um, it was $19.29 for that kit already mitered up, already ready to go. I'm a, uh, it'll go up to a 36-inch wide door, of course, which is a, a standard door nowadays. Um, you know, 30, 32. Uh, 36. It turns out mine's 32, so it's going to be no problem. So I had figured I'd probably need, buying it by the linear foot, I probably needed two 7-footers if they had that, but they don't, so buying it straight through, I was going to cut two 7-footers, so 14 feet, and a 3-footer, so 17 feet total. There's a buck 66 a foot. I've heard a lot of times not to do math on camera, so I did the math on that phone beforehand to make sure and I came out to $28.22. 19 bucks and 29 cents. 28 bucks and 22 cents for the uh, 22 bucks. 28, 22? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, it was, it was a significant amount and I'm like, I can't pass up buying the mitered stuff. I already mitered kit even though I wanted to cut it all myself. I have to cut a little bit off so I can still play with the mitered saw, but kind of a bummer that it's, it's actually cheaper to get the kit than it is the linear foot. Kind of, kind of a bummer, but. Okay, I also grabbed, uh, I grabbed some caulk, some Alex Plus paintable, indoor, outdoor, so it's now caulk all around everything. You already saw the great stuff, I already put some of that in. I grabbed some DeWalt nails. 
This is 15 gauge, they're angled, angle cut. Um, I have for the, my finished nailer. This is one of the finished nailers I have, so I wanted to make sure I had nails. Couldn't remember, it's been a long time, so a lot of small boxes. So um, that should be everything we need to put that door in. Um, that great stuff is is uh, is um, expanding, so I want to give it some time to dry so I can cut it out of there and uh, start with a nice smooth surface. So basically, I'm going to grab the miter saw out of the shed, um, start taking my measurements, and then I can cut cut up those and uh, start installing those, and then get to the door. So we'll be back with that. Couple of ramps in a second. All right. So you know, maybe you don't know. Um, well, you don't know this. I used to remodel professionally. Um, so I've got tons of tools. I also used to be a mechanic professionally, licensed in the whole United States. So I've got a ton of those kind of tools too. So I've got tons of tools. So. I've got a compound slide, the 12 inch DeWalt miter box now because the wife and boy got it for me for one Father's Day because the one that I used for years, which was not, didn't happen to be the slide, it was just the compound miter, 12 inch DeWalt, similar saw just without the, without the slide, got stolen out of my brother's van. On the bottom of my old saw, I had the clamps that went onto the DeWalt work table, which is a fantastic table it's all aluminum it's light uh, the legs fold up uh, it's got long extensions it's, it's a great table so I have my saw sitting on saw horses with a piece of three-quarter inch plywood because I don't have my table because I didn't buy a set of legs yet for it the clamps because you can't get them at any of the stores you have to order them like Lowe's online has them I believe but they don't sell them in the store so I can't just go get a set I got to order and I just haven't gotten to do that yet. Haven't gotten to it. So that's one rant that's, that's annoying me right now. Second one was, didn't have a utility knife in my toolbox. I don't know why. I've got 50,000 of these things around. Why is it one in the toolbox? I don't know. I, mean, I, I didn't put it there. I, it was only me because nobody else uses that. It's been in the shed forever. Third rant. I mentioned I have that clipped head, angled nail, the angled brad, finished nailer. I bought those two and a half inch nails for it. It's down at my buddy's in the garage. The garage is locked. I can't get in the garage. I got my sawhorses because they were in the back and I like jumped over the fence to get those. But so y what I was getting to is, you know, when you get all set up and you're ready to go, but then the one tool you need nearly the most isn't there and you've got all your stuff, including your five or $600 saw sitting out in the driveway. It's only five houses down, but is it going to be here when I get back if I take off? I don't know. So anyway, I guess that's enough. Rant over. I'm going to go start cutting this stuff out. I'm going to stop this though because I hear... Well, maybe not coming this way. I thought UPS was turning on the street, which would have been a ton of noise. Anyway, I'm going to start cutting this, trimming this out, and we'll, we'll get going on this.
up for some cuts over here. Well. Super exciting cinema. Sure. Okay, here we go. I already did some measuring. Some part. Cut it. Those saws are so nice. So nice. Alright, got the piece cut. I'll leave the glasses on. Take the first piece cut, tack her up there, and finish all this off. Saws got a bit of dust on it. Not too bad, but I'm gonna blow it off anyway. Yeah, 
There we go. Nice and clean.